Hello Reborners, my name is Karen and this is Making Dolls with Karen. Uh, we've been doing a lot of baby makeovers, but today I want to do something different. Today I want to do something that I strictly want to do for fun, and that is open my boxes up from the Black Friday sale. The Bountiful Baby had a Black Friday sale that was several days long, and each day they changed at least some of the items. They didn't change them all. So every day there was something to look at and decide if you wanted to buy. I just found something every day almost. There was a couple days I didn't buy anything, but I think it lasted five or six days, and I think I have four boxes. So I, I don't know. There was one or two days I, that I didn't see anything I wanted. But uh, anyway, I got plenty of stuff, let's put it that way. So I, I wanted to show you the things I got. I think it's fun to open boxes online like that. I don't know, you may not like this video, and you don't have to view it if you don't. Uh, but I'm gonna show you my stuff. This big box should have a pack and slip that's, that's uh, like a book. Oh yeah, this is the one where I ordered more than one of some of them because I like the sculpt, they sell good, and they were $19.99, so yeah, I ordered more than one of them. So this box has got quite a few dolls in it, but not that many different ones. So, let's see. Take out all the packing first. Let's see who's out of the box first. Yeah, I knew that was Trent by his feet. I was going, I think that's Trent, and it is, it's Trent. Trent's a cute baby. I've made one already. He's going up soon. I, I make my dolls up ahead of time and I make them all go, go up for sale at the same time. I schedule them. I think I ordered two Trents. This is one of them. Because he's a real smooth doll. He's real easy to paint. He doesn't have a real lot of creases on him. And he's kind of cute. He's a sleeping baby, and I like sleeping babies a lot. Let's see who else is in here. This is Brooklyn Awake. I like her better asleep, but she is cute awake too. She's just cute. And uh, there's not many dolls that Bountiful Baby sells that I think are just downright ugly. There are a few, but I won't mention their names. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't buy any of them. This is Katie. She's just adorable. She's a little tiny doll. And she just has a very, very pretty face. And let's see who else we have here. Maya. Uh, after that trouble I had with that one Maya kit, I was kind of scared to order another Maya. But it's it could happen to any kit. Maya's not special in that request in that department. Uh, she's she's the cuter of the twins, I think. It's Macy and Maya, and I think Maya is a little bit cuter than Macy. She's also a tiny bit bigger. She's a 19 inch, and notice how even though she's a 19 inch, her head is pretty small. Her arms and legs are very skinny. She could easily go on an 18 inch body. Easily, because she's very skinny. Other 19 inch dolls that I've had before, their heads are big. Yes, the overall doll's gonna be 19 inches because mostly the body you put it on. Anyway, let's move on. I have three boxes, so. I hate these bags. They're so hard to zip. They're the cheapest of a Ziploc bag that you can get. My hair bag, what's it doing down there? And this is uh, Brooklyn Awake again. I got two of her. She's a good seller. And I got Dominic Awake. I love him. He is so cute. I like his sleeping version too, and I do have one of his kits sleeping. But here's Dominic awake. He's real cute. He's he's a he, he's 19.5. He 
It said looks about the same size as Maya's to me. 19.5, that's almost 20 inches. I thought he was a 17.5 or something. A little kit. Some of them look a lot bigger than they are. Mary is one of them and all. Oh, I don't know, I can't remember the, this is Martin. He's a 18 inch doll. And see his head is almost exactly the same as Dominic's. So that's why I say most dolls 18 to 20 inches are so close in size that you're not even gonna notice the difference and they can all go on a 19 inch body. Every one of them. There's very few that can't. Uh, I wouldn't put uh, really tiny dolls like, even though they're, they're like a, an 18 inch doll, I think, Aspen or Leaf, they're so super skinny. That if you put them on a big body, they just look ginormous. Trent again. Dominic again. Madison, she makes a pretty baby. I had a Madison, sold her. She was painted so pretty too. She makes a, a real pretty kit. And she also makes an alternative uh, twin sister to Maya. Some people make Madison instead of, don't do Madison and Macy or Madison and Maya. Because, well, Madison almost looks like him. I think she might even be their big sister. I think Madison was out first. I'm not sure. She might be the younger sister. I don't know, but she seems like she belongs in that family to me. And she's really cute. And uh, I've seen several sets of twins that were one of the twins in the Macy Maya twin set. I mean, yeah, Macy Maya. And then they were put with Madison instead. Let's see who else we have here. Martin. Uh, this is the Martin asleep. Those one was Martin awake. And this one is uh, Lewis. Uh, I made a Lewis. I sold him too. He was real good. He was one of the first babies that I started that new technique on. He has these really nice little frowns up on his face. And when you highlight them, they just look so cute. And he looked really good. And I sold him really quick. Well, <laughs> I don't like these bags. They're hard to close. I went out and bought me some my own bags. I usually change them to the other bags because of these bags are so hard to close and sometimes they just come out and you'll have a stray leg in the box and you'll go, okay, I gotta look through all the kits and see which one it goes to now. And this is uh, another Lewis. I got two of them. Here's the COAs, a big old stack of them. I uh, couldn't find, on this day when I bought these, I couldn't find that many dolls that I liked. Lilani, uh, I, but I, the ones that I did like, I liked a really lot. So I got some of them twice. Lilani makes a cute kit. I used to have a Lilani that was mine, and then I decided to sell her, and I missed her after I sold her. <laughs> she, she had this certain little pink outfit on, and. I don't know. I, I, I just couldn't let her go in that outfit because I had planned to make another Lilani and put the same outfit on her. I get used to seeing my dolls in the same outfit and I go, that's Lilani's outfit, you know. And this is a Madison Asleep. Now this is the sleep version of that other doll I just showed you that sometimes gets replaced by Macy or Maya. This is her Asleep. So she's cute asleep too, but she's in this particular sculpt, she's cuter awake. So that's all in that box. I have two more boxes to open up. They're not as big as this box because they don't have any repeats, I don't think. I mean, I don't think they do, they could, but I, I don't think they do. But um, if I can get this bag zipped, we're gonna look at what's in the second box over here. I've already got it cut open and everything. I haven't taken the stuffing out or anything because 
but I just was trying to save a little time from going, where's my knife? Let me see if I can cut this open and all that and taking up so much time. I've got to find some more places to store kits. I keep saying, oh, I'll just get busy and make all these kits. <laughs> my shelves are full. I was going to take the dolls that I had on sale off of sale after Christmas. But I don't think I can. When you get your kits for $19, and I did, I was able to get some bodies for fairly cheap as well. Well, I'm boxed in here. And I mean literally with boxes. When people say they're boxed in, they don't usually mean with boxes. <laughs> they just mean they're boxed in with something on all sides of them. I literally have boxes on all sides of me. I'm trying to move this one. Put all that paper back there. Move these limbs I got out the other day to show y'all. Oh. I got these limbs strictly for changing limbs on dolls. Whew, that's kind of tiring. Okay, now I'm going to move this box back. I haven't even been working on dolls very fast because I've been doing videos and when I do videos I go a lot slower than I normally go. Sometimes I have my entire drying rack full of dolls I'm making all at the same time. Oh this one has other things in it too besides dolls. This is one of the days when I didn't find dolls that I particularly liked and I'm really interested in what these trouser socks are going to look like. That's what these are. They're not stockings, they're trouser socks. And uh, if you ever wear trousers, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, these are the kind of socks that they mostly wear. They're sort of like a knee high, but they're thicker and nicer. Oh my goodness. You could actually wear these things. Look at that. And they were, when I buy my, uh, little package of, uh, it's already open, it's got stockings missing from it. Ten pairs come in here, and it's around nine eighty-seven or something like that for ten pairs. So it's about a dollar a pair. These were 99 cents a pair. And look at that, they're so much better gray. I, I just don't think anything will pass through that. Oh my goodness, I'm loving them. I wish I'd have got more, but I didn't. So well, oh well. <laughs> I have a little place down there. I have a three-tier little rack, and the bottom rack I used to put my stockings and socks and things on. Let's see what else we got in this box. We have bodies. I bought the sale bodies. I know I have two Katie's, so I had to have two bodies this size. And I'm pretty sure I have some other doll that's going to need it. And then I bought. A bunch of the 19 inch bodies and I don't really care if they're this color or that color this is supposed to be for biracial babies and this is for Caucasian babies but once they get their clothes on you don't know the difference and these were on sale and I like to buy things on sale I don't like paying regular price for anything now I don't know where the garbage can is and then we have the kits here are COAs, another stack. We have coming out of the box Owen Awake. I've already made an Owen. I'm not real fond of him, but uh, he's a popular kit, so I'll do him. I'll try to do any kit, but you know, some of them are not as nice as others. Have, uh, oh, I think this is, I think this is Aspen. It's Aspen. <laughs> Leaf has been sold out for so long. I just wonder if they're even going to bring them back. Leaf had a sad story. And uh, little Aspen and Leaf are twin brother and sister. And uh, I don't know if they're related to the Pratts. A lot of the, a lot of these dolls are 
likenesses of their grandchildren and niece, great nieces and nephews and stuff. They're family members, but some of them are not. Some of them are, they put out a thing where you could uh, apply and send a picture of your newborn baby and then decide if they wanted to make a, a, a video of that particular baby or not. So some of them are just random children that just apply. But uh, little Aspen and Leaf got scanned and before they made the dolls, little Leaf died. He had some congenital heart failure, heart problem, and and uh, I guess it was not diagnosed, and he died. And so they went to his mother, and they asked him, what do you want us to do? And she said, you know, my biggest concern was that poor little Leaf would be forgotten. He was so young when he died, and uh, I would like it if people remembered him. And if there's a doll of him, and everybody's making him and loving him and selling him and buying him and collecting him, he's not going to be forgotten. So she wanted the doll made. So that's what they did. Okay, this one is uh, Phineas. I'm not real fond of this kit either, but I guess he can be made. He's made really well. He might be okay looking. He just looks a little funny to me. I'm sorry to Phineas's mother, but... He's a funny looking kid. You know, I noticed on even these newer kits like this one, Phineas hasn't been around that long. They were scanned like in 2018 or something. They're, they're way behind on making their kits out of babies that they scanned. And some of these kits like Dominic and some of them like that, they're just nearly grown up now. That's how long their kits have been. this one. Pearl. I do like pearl. I made a beautiful pearl and boy she was, everybody liked her. She had like 40 watchers and somebody finally bought her. She's real, real cute. also super cute. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. I have to go see what's happening with the dog. I'll be back in just a few minutes and we'll pick up.